Hello students. Today we'll discuss an important math concept, completing the squares, which you'll be using in parabolas and circles on the SAT and ACT. The concept basically comes from these two basic equations that all of us are aware of. A plus B whole squared is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And A minus B whole squared is A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Why are we using these? And how do we use these in questions? Let's understand. So when you look at a parabola equation, you can express the equation of a parabola in the x-intercept form. That is y is equal to a times x minus m into x minus n, where m and n are the x-intercepts. So if I were to draw a parabola, and if I draw it like this, then this point could be m comma zero, and this point could be n comma zero. So that's one representation. The other representation is the y-intercept form, where the standard form, just ax squared plus bx plus c, where c is the y-intercept. So this point is zero comma c. And then we have the vertex form, given by a times x minus h whole squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex. So if this is the vertex, then the coordinates are h comma k. Now, sometimes we may be required to change one form to another, and sometimes that change might require us to employ completing the squares. So let's understand how. Question one, which of the following could be the graph of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Right, so I first look at the y-intercept, but I notice that all the four options have a y-intercept of 2, so that doesn't help me. The next, I try and find x-intercepts. When I try to find the x-intercepts by splitting the middle term, I notice that I can't split the middle term, right? And if you calculate the discriminant, that would be b squared minus 4ac, which is 4 minus 4 into 1 into 2, which is 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. That means that this expression will not have real roots. So a and d are out, because if it doesn't have real roots, the parabola cannot intersect the x-axis. But between b and c, I'm still not sure of the answer with the x-intercept uh, root. So I've already tried the x-intercepts and the y-intercept and I still don't have my answer. So I should try the vertex because I can see here that each parabola in the options has a different vertex. The parabola in option A has the vertex in the third quadrant. The parabola in option B has the vertex in the second quadrant. Parabola in option C has the vertex in the first quadrant and this in the fourth quadrant. So how can I change this equation to the vertex form? Now remember that the vertex form was a times x minus h whole squared plus k, which means I have to get a square of x minus or x plus something. So how can I make a square out of this? Remember that a plus b, the whole squared, is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if I write x squared as x squared and 2x into 1, because 2x is just 2x into 1, and I add the square of 1, then this, these three terms look similar to these three terms on the right. x squared plus 2x into 1 plus 1 squared. And since I have added one square, I'll subtract one square and two is already there. So these three terms become x plus one the whole square minus one plus two, which is x plus one the whole square plus one. And this is now in the vertex form of the parabola with h as negative one and k as one. So my vertex is minus one comma one. 
And I know that minus one comma one is a point in the second quadrant. And so my right answer is option B. So let's look at another example from circles to understand this concept a little more. So when we speak of circles in the coordinate plane, we know that the general equation that describes a circle is x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole squared is r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle and r is the radius, right? This is the general equation of a circle in the coordinate plane. If the center is at the origin, then h comma k is zero and the equation becomes x squared plus y squared is r squared. So where do we require to complete the squares? A question like this. We have been given the equation of the circle, but this is not the standard form of the equation. This is the expanded form. And we are told to find the coordinates of the center and the radius. So we will complete the squares in this equation, convert it into the standard form, x minus h whole squared, plus y minus k whole squared is r squared. And from that, the center will come to h comma k and the radius will be r. So we have x squared minus 10x plus y squared plus 8y plus 37 is zero. Now, again, we focus on these two points. Remember, that a minus b the whole squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and a plus b the whole squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if I write this as x squared minus 2x into 5 because 10 is 2 into 5 then I can look at this expanded form and if I add 5 squared here then I get it in the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that will simply be x minus 5, the whole squared. Similarly, y squared plus 8y, I'll write as 2y into 4. 2 into 4 is 8. And I'll add the square of 4 using this expanded form. And these three terms will become y plus 4 the whole squared plus 37 was already there. I added 5 squared to the left hand side so I'll add 5 squared to the right hand side and 4 squared also to the right hand side because if I add something to one side of the equation I need to add it to the other side. So I have x minus 5 the whole squared plus y plus 4 the whole squared is 5 squared 25 4 squared 16 and this 37 when it goes to the right hand side becomes minus 37. 25 plus 16 is 41, 41 minus 37 is 4. So my final equation is x minus 5 the whole squared plus y plus 4 the whole squared is 4 and this is now in the standard form where h is 5, k is negative 4, and the radius is 2. So the center is 5 comma negative 4 and the radius is 2. So you see whether it is the vertex form of the parabola or the standard form of the circle, we need to complete squares frequently on the SAT and ACT math sections. And the process is really simple if you keep in mind the formulas for a plus b the whole squared and a minus b the whole squared. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.